We're a, a, an independent school, uh, three through to 18, so right from the very little ones in preschool up to sixth form, uh, in Wakefield, West Yorkshire. Um, and um, we've been using net support for quite a long time now. Uh, in different guises, I think, um, latterly with the DNA over the last good few years. Um, so both from a um, technical point of view, so for, for my role um, in terms of supporting um, staff and, and students sometimes, um, but also from a classroom management point of view, we've got a number of sort of dedicated ICT suites that we use um, NetSpot's school and export tutor on there um, for the staff to be able to, as I say, sort of manage the class and, and so on. Mainly as a, a kind of monitoring tool really. Um, Windows primarily, um, yeah, we're not, we're not using it on anything else. We do have um, a suite of Chromebooks and, and kind of more and more, we're kind of going down the route of one-to-one -one Chromebooks for students. Yeah. Um, but we're not, we're not using it on Chromebooks at the moment. Um, yeah, it's been brilliant to, to be fair. I mean, it saved, it saves my legs in terms of running around, you know, running around <laughs> the campus and, uh, you know, sort of being directly there, the ability to, you know, to remote control a machine and take control and uh, be able to support remotely has been, has been really good. Um, I mean, we've, to be honest, we've used it even during sort of lockdown where some of the staff were teaching from home or needed support from home because we've got sort of VPN facilities as well. We could we could connect remotely to, to them sometimes as well using net support which is you know really helpful. Um, but yeah it's, it's been it's been great but it definitely wouldn't be without it. Yeah all the time yeah yeah um, as I say but it, mainly for you know sort of support so remote control of, of machines that ability sort of view and take control of machines and provide remote support support you know it just makes things a lot more instant for us. Um, yeah, I, w I mean, I would say it's it's that um, we've got quite a large campus, so um, you know, when a when a sort of help desk call, if you like, came in, you know, before we were using this, we you know we'd have to physically go to the um, the computer that had the problem, or the member of staff that had the problem, um, which you know obviously took a bit more time, um, and this just gives us that sort of instant visibility and, and sort of instant support um, that we can. You know, I suppose we, we don't sort of really um, do SLAs as such internally, but you know, in terms of sort of um, our ability to respond more quickly, it's, uh, it's it's been a massive help. Yeah, yeah, great. I think I think the perception of it again is that um, without sort of speaking for them, I think you know they're they're really um, happy that we can provide that sort of more instant support. You know, especially for just sort of ad hoc things where you know you can sort of generally fix a problem within a minute or two um, I think they really appreciate the fact that we can do that especially sometimes in the sort of classroom environment where you know you're mm. the te the teaching and we need to be able to provide a sort of quick response and quick fix um, I think that's really appreciated it, it's, an, it's a tool that gives it an invaluable um, it gives us an ability to uh, respond to um, support calls um, much more quickly than, than we otherwise would be able to. From, um, from a classroom management point of view, it gives it gives teaching staff the um, the visibility. Um, you know, it, it, so they can they can um, they can see what the students are doing and keep and keep allow them to stay on task. I think is the main thing that they use it for. Uh, yeah, so we do we do use that a lot. So we've got key all the sort of keyword monitoring stuff in place and um, any any sort of um, concerns are flagged up to our DSL and, and they, they get notified of that immediately so it's a it's a really important part of the sort of safeguarding processes that, that, we, that we have in school um, so we, again it's used all the time you know and oft, often it's um, you know it's nothing but uh, there, are, there have been times when it's you know it's really sort of helped and um, you know, it's, been, it's sort of kicked off a concern, if you like, and uh, we've been able to sort of address that internally. We had, um, for a long time, we used, uh, we didn't use DNA, we used um, another product of yours, and I think there was an offer 
there was an offer for DNA, sort of, which was a uh, uh, really attractive in terms of the, the cost, um, and and so that that was a, a big a big thing for us. The cost, um, you know, sort of per per device, fixed price. Um, so I think that's. I think we were using a different suite of products before, albeit it had Net Support um, Manager in there, uh, but the DNA was a different. It's a more cost-effective product, I think, at the time. Um, I feel like it's it's probably the, the one of the best, if not the best, products out there in terms of sort of certainly in education. Um, it's you know for what for what it does, it feel I feel like it's a you know it's a sort of market leader really. Um, we've looked at others like Impero in the past and one or two others, but we always you know we always come back to to Net Support. Um, Cost is, the cost is good uh, and you know the feature set is, is really good, it gives us pretty much everything we need.